Hey, what's good, YouTube? This is De La Swap from De La Swap Productions, Beastville, Beastville.com. You guys might have been wondering what has happened to me. I haven't posted anything for like the last couple of weeks. And some people, you know, they are, you know, did he drop off? Uh, no, I didn't drop off. I've been busy behind, behind the scenes, basically, working on my website, trying to get things uh, tightened up there where things are more automated. Because for me, it's all about the customer, you know. And also, I've been working on a few music projects. Uh, you guys know about Studio Gangster. Been working with him on uh, one of his tracks that uh, he's going to be dropping pretty soon. Uh, and other than that, some of my own personal work. But uh, what I want to do today is uh, I want to share with you guys my background with Akai and with the MPC. What you guys might not know is that many years I didn't even know what an MPC was. I mean, I cannot call myself an MPC head by any means. I mean, I think I was in my 40s before I knew what a what an MPC was, and I'm I'll be 56 next week. So do that math. But I do like the MPC, I like the workflow. Uh, not so comfortable with the software, so I prefer the standalone. And as you can see over here, I got uh, the Live 2, which I partly used. I've been messing with it, but I haven't put anything out with it yet. And I've got the X, it just came out the 35th anniversary. It's kind of like my birthday present. And the reason I got this is because, for one, I didn't already have the X. And uh, also, uh, I was always hoping that they would come out with a new Renaissance, but with like a hardware version of it, where you could actually make beats on it without hooking it up to the software. Because again, I, I'm not really good with the software. So this was their answer and their gift to me, you know. Uh, it's, it's got the color scheme, it's got all the layout, the buttons, the, the pots. And it's got a bigger screen, it's got more memory. Yeah, so uh, this is exactly what I was looking for, really. And as far as the price, well, the X, I guess it's like $200 less than this, but when you add in the cost of uh, upgrading the memory, the RAM, and then the uh, plugins, I guess, that comes with it. I think that's that's a fair price, you know. You kinda you kinda pay for the extra stuff that they added to it, even though it's not a long list of things. And plus it's a collector's item, it's a limited edition, so this is gonna hold value over time. And it's always gonna look good in the studio, right? So anyway, and then I got the uh, I don't know if you can see it. I got the Akai uh, MPC-1 over here on the other side. This is not a permanent setup. Primarily what's gonna happen uh, is I'm probably gonna put this over there on the side there. And the MPC-1 is probably gonna go over there too because all I want to focus on over here is the X, a controller for the, you know, the keyboard sounds and whatnot. So I don't have to do that on the pads. And then um, if I don't want to be looking for uh, some type of synth sound through a whole lot of different banks and plugins and whatnot, I can just pull it up on my Miniac. And I've had this for many years. I think I had this back in uh, 20, 2011, I think. I'm not sure. Right around that time. Dope synth, by the way. Okay. But yeah, I want to keep it real clean, minimalistic, and just really much pretty much focused on the, uh, the X. And I really wanna uh, learn this through and through, the workflow, uh, navigation, sampling, the chop, and every, everything that, that this is well known for. I wanna get that in my head. So, coming back to uh, the video. So basically, I just wanna share with you guys uh, my history with Akai. I think it goes back to like 2011, I believe. It starts off with the Akai MPD-26. So what I'm gonna share in the video is like some beat making videos. Uh, I guess a couple of tracks where you can see the, the machine playing the beat. And then it's gonna end with uh, the MPCX at the end. And no, I'm not, spoiler alert, yes, I'm not gonna make a beat with the, the X right now. I need to spend some time on it before I, I could do it some justice. So 
I, I don't want to just throw up some quick beat that I made on it just for this video. So I think you guys can appreciate that. And yeah, that's it. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, rock this video and, and see what it's about. What's up YouTube? It's your boy De La Soie. Just a quick update. I've been working on my mobile studio. Uh, you can see right in front of me I got the MPD 26 Akai Professional. Yeah. I'm loving this thing already. And I also just recently purchased the Korg Micro Key. It's got 37 natural touch keys. It's very good action. It's actually the action is a little better than the micro station, if you can believe that, in my opinion. Also, just before I left Italy, I picked up the MacBook Air. And as you can see, I've got loaded on there Logic Pro 9 uh, with my project session that I'm about to uh, unleash on you in just a second with a beat making video. But most of all, I just want to say I appreciate all you guys for coming to watch my videos, all the views, the likes, the shares, the favorites, subscriptions. I appreciate all of it. And without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to make it to uh, 100,000 views. So I appreciate that most definitely. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with it. The beat making video. Let's do this.
This is a Dina Squad production. This is a Dino Squad production. Watch, 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 wat